Hey, it's Joel. Behind me is the Form 4L, this massive resin 3D printer. And you may have seen it recently on an episode where I was visiting CES with friends and I got to talk to Michael about the Creator Series resins. And we did it right in front of the massive Form Labs Form 4. Uh, it's 4L, sorry, 4L. I, I gotta remember, this is the big one. It is huge. It makes things like, well, I made. I made this, it's a Cholbot, but it's almost life-size. Look at him, it looks great. That is a big Cholbot. I also made something else. A steering wheel. I made a full-size steering wheel in this resin printer. It's crazy too, because it comes with all these supports and then you gotta get them off and then you put it in the wash and the cure, which is right behind me as well. And look at it, I'm driving, I'm driving my car. And... One of the cool things about this machine is the types of resins it can print. This is made in Fast Model V1. It's like a prototyping resin. It's something that makes decent parts, but you know, it's, it, it washes in like five minutes, it cures in like five minutes. Quick, Fast Model, something you can prototype stuff with. The need for speed. However, at CES, I got a demonstration of this material called Tough 2000, and the person Took the hammer, I remember, I just started wailing on the concrete, just like crazy. And I thought, I want that. Like, I wanna do that. And I have the machine that can do it, and it's loaded with the right resin to do that. So I had an idea. What if you could 3D print a nail? What? In order to test that out, I thought you should also 3D print a hammer. So here's a hammer made in the Fast Model V1. It's got a handle and it's got a head. It goes in there. I'm gonna use some two-part epoxy to put it together. That should hold it while we try to hammer it. And then I have a forest of nails. I picked three different nail sizes. One longer, one shorter, one fatter. And I, I just wanna test the differences. Now I did make this and this in the Fast Model V1, that prototyping resin. I don't suspect that's gonna last very long, but I wanted the control against this. This is gonna be the Tough 2000 resin. And you can see I've got the handle, I've got the nails of, of different sizes. I, I don't know what's going to work. I have an idea that the hammer is probably gonna work because I've seen that demonstrated at CES, but the nails, I'm not sure. The thick ones have some rigidity. The super skinny ones are a little bit bendy. I foresee failure but we won't know until we test it. So the next steps for this and for this is to get the hammerhead and the handle out of here and then two, poxy, two part epoxy it together, just like the other one. And then what I wanna do is use an ultrasonic knife to trim off the supports from the nails. I figure that's gonna give us the best shot of not breaking something off. We see if we can 3D print a nail. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go get it done right now. Two-part epoxy, here I come. This, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> now we're ready. I two-part epoxied the hammer head to the hammer handle, and we have the two resins, the Fast Model and the Tough 2000. Now remember, the Tough 2000 had that hammer that could hit on the concrete floor at CES. And I mean, that's not bad. All right, fast model, great for prototyping, not good for hitting against cement or a table. Well, regardless, we, we have the nails, the three. <laughs> With the performance of this hammer, I get the feeling these won't do as well as these, but there's only one way to find out. To get these out of the support forest, I have something really cool to show you. This is an ultrasonic knife and the tip of the blade vibrates at 40 kilohertz, 40,000. Now, if you've ever had to use flush cutters to break away supports on models, you know it's kind of driving a wedge in between the material and it's kind of, it, it does that. But with this, it's gonna just kind of cut through it really easy without, without the snapping or the shearing or the breaking. So what I'm gonna do is use this ultrasonic knife to free some of the nails and then we're gonna hit them into this wood with hammers and we're gonna see how well it works.
Okay, knife is off. See, I'm worried because, well, like this one here, it's it's got a little flex to it. This one kind of does. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're going into the unknown here. We're going into the unknown. So, we're gonna try the fast model, skinny one here. Three, two, one. do anything. Oh, no. Okay, here's this one. Here's this one. Fast mom. Ready, ready? Okay. Fast mom. This is a prototyping resin. I'm kind of expecting this. So, three, two, one. Hmm. Okay, so this doesn't have a lot of weight behind it, but it is surviving it. Let's try the real hammer. Well, that, that didn't survive. On to these, here we go. Let's try, okay, here's the, here's this one first. It's just, here we go, here we go. Uh, it's kind of, see, it's, it's, I can't hit that. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's see, new hole, short squat one, three, two, one. Okay, jumps out. Not a lot of weight behind this one. Let's try the real hammer. Jeez. <laughs> okay. You know, it could be that the two by four is too tough. So I've got a softer piece of um, pallet wood. Let's let's give it another try. I I, I felt confident about that that one nail. So let's let's get some more nails. And let's just try it. We'll, we'll do the fat ones, the, the, the thick ones. We'll get some of those and we'll try it on this piece of pallet wood. Fast model, thick nail. <laughs> okay, I just wanna see if I can get it to go through the wood. We were closer. We were much closer. Almost there. Tough 2000. Goodness. Let me see if I can find a softer piece of wood. <sighs> this is pretty, I don't know what type of wood this is. Um, if you know, let me know, but I, it, it is softer. Let's just, uh, come on. I got a good feeling about this. Okay. Like it poked, it poked through. <laughs> it's in. Oh yeah. Can we pull it out? No. <laughs> this is fascinating. This is fascinating. Part of why I believe it's tough to get the nails through is because of the thickness. They're really, really, really thick nails. And you have to because that's what the material needs in order to have its strength. It needs some, some, some body there. And we, we did, we got it into the wood. Like it went in. I'm a, I'm a little shocked. And we, it didn't go through the two by four and it didn't go through the fence board or the, what is this? Or the pallet wood. This is something. This is, this is definitely something. I think what we have is a success here. And I think that if we could vary the size of the barrel of the nail here, we might be able to get it into the wood. Or if we pre-drilled, we could do it. So we could 3D print the hammer. It's just not weighty. It's, it doesn't have the, the heft behind it. Cause when you swing a hammer, you want that, that weight of the metal head to carry through. And so it doesn't have that. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Later. So I've got these from my nail gun. Let's take one out and let's see. So this is with a 3D printed hammer. Well, it works. I'm really impressed with this Tough 2000 resin. I know the demo at CES was, you know, pounding on the concrete, but we just we just hit a metal nail with a resin printed hammer, but we did that and that is so unexpected. Well, can you 3D print a nail? You can. And can you 3D print a hammer? I would say you can. You're not gonna be able to drive that 3D printed nail into all of the wood with a 3D printed hammer, but you can come pretty close and you do find some success and, 
That's the fun in experimenting. You know, if you wanted to swing your own 3D printed hammer or perhaps try to drive some 3D printed nails into some material, you should probably stop by the Form Labs booth at Rapid Plus TCT this year in Detroit. Could be fun. You might even get to see me there. Well, listen, thanks for everybody that came by and made this possible. Huge thanks to Form Labs for letting me use their 4L and some really cool resins to kind of test out a theory. And a big thanks to Lex Level Neo and Steven over there for the ultrasonic knife that made it so I could just cut the supports away cleanly. Now that we know this tough 2000 resin is, is fairly resilient, what would you like to see printed in it? Because now I'm thinking, could I, could I 3D print like a screw and drive it into the wood? Or what other things could you print with Tough 2000? Let me know. Maybe I'll be able to do it. Well, if you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for cause you believe in. And safety all the things. <laughs> and as always, high five.